hi guys and welcome back so as you can see your girl is in her kitchen so we're back with another episode of cooking with Brit, and i'm super excited for today's episode reason being i love me some festival so today we're going to be making some steam fish along with festival some fried plantain and i think i'm going to make some juice from scratch because from the other day i've just been doing that whenever i buy juice it makes me feel sick so i'm gonna be making my own juice from scratch um i think i'm gonna be making pineapple ginger i'm gonna probably add a little cucumber i don't know but we'll see but that's what we're gonna be making but yes yeah, stay tuned if you're new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button leave a like leave a comment and let's get into cooking <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna get into seasoning my fish and I'm not one of those people that add a million and one seasonings when you're making steamed fish because to me, I feel like it's very unnecessary and it makes the fish very salty and that's not where, what we're going for today. So I did use my knife and you know, cut into the fish a little bit. So I have like three cuts on each side because I do want the seasoning to actually get inside the fish. So I did do that off camera. But today we're only going to be using some Maggie fish seasoning and that's all you need. You know, so don't think that you need um, all purpose. You can add all purpose if you want to, but you don't need all of those stuff when you're doing steamed fish or any fish of the sort. All you need is some Maggie and you're good to go because you are going to be adding, you know, the cock soup when you're making your steamed fish and I feel like that's gonna make the fish salty you don't need a lot of seasonings trust me the water itself is already gonna be seasoned okay so i lied i'm gonna add a little bit of all purpose because i feel like i didn't have enough fish seasoning it actually done so just a little bit not a lot i'm not gonna be adding anything else i'm not gonna be adding any paprika adobo you know all those extra stuff it's not needed honestly this is so cool to me like i've never seen a twin onion before like it's literally a twin even though one began in the next one but it's a twin onion <laughs> Okay, so on our board we have some okra, we have some pumpkin, and we have some fresh thyme over here. We have some scallion, some garlic, some scotch bonnet pepper, and we also have some okay, So now that I'm done prepping my fish and the seasonings and everything, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare my festival mix. Because I feel like steamed fish, it doesn't really take a long time to cook. And I just want to get everything out of the way before I start cooking. So what I'm going to be using for my ingredients, we're going to be using some all-purpose flour. We're also going to be using some baking powder, some vanilla. We're going to be using some brown sugar and some salt. And yeah, I know it's in a Ziploc bag, but you know, don't mind that. And this is in a peanut butter bottle. But you know, as a Jamaican, I feel like you don't always have your right seasonings are you know you add ingredients in the cart packaging it's always in something different if you know you know Okay guys, so now I'm going to get into making my juice. I have some pineapple, 
I have two cucumber. I don't know if I must add three. I'll probably add two. And then I have some ginger that I'm gonna add. So I had to go outside and sharp my knife. If you ask why I never do it inside. I don't know, my mommy always tell me don't sharp me a knife in your house. I don't know what it mean, but if my mother tell me that, that's what I'm gonna do. this is what i do i basically just use a knife and you know just scrape it off and i feel like it comes off way easier like this instead of trying to use a knife to actually peel it just scrape it off So my juice is done blending so i have my strainer here and i have a pot so i'm just gonna throw the mixture into my strainer Okay, so I strained my juice two times and now I'm gonna add a tip of lime juice just to give it a little zest. Not too much because you don't want your juice to be sour. So probably like a quart full of lime juice. So one, two. And if I need any more, I will add. So I'm just gonna mix this and taste it and see if I need to add anything extra. So it does need another spoonful of sugar. So I'm gonna add that and I think this should be enough. But the juice is so good. If you've never tried pineapple and cucumber ginger juice before, it is so good. I would definitely recommend trying this juice. It's not hard to make. Just cut up your cucumber, your ginger, your pineapple, add some water, blend it up, and strain it. And are you that? Like, it's so good. So this is the amount of juice that I got. I could have gotten way more if I added more water, but personally, I like when my juice is rich and not too watered down. So I got two cups and you know, this is enough for me. I know y'all probably say Brittany do everything but cook the liquor food but I promise it's time to actually start cooking the food. Okay, so along with the seasonings that I cut up earlier, we're gonna need some coconut milk. So I already mixed that out in my cup. And this is the cock soup. So what I did is I used this, I'm sorry. I used the strainer and you know, take out the noodles because I don't want that in my fish. And so I mixed the two of these. So it's the chicken noodle and the fish flavor. So I mix it two of them because you know, why not? And then I have my coconut milk. I also have my plantains cut up. I don't really want a lot. But yeah, let's get into cooking because, mm -hmm. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add some garlic butter. So I'm just gonna use a spoon and scoop out a little bit. Now I'm going to add my seasonings. So now that all my seasonings are sauteed, I'm going to add some water. And after I add my water, this is when I'm gonna add my 
pumpkin and okra and everything and i like to add these first before i add my fish they're falling everywhere so sorry but yeah i like to add these first before i add my fish because it does take a little bit longer to cook so i usually put these in and just cover the pot and allow them to cook down a little bit before i add in my fish and i feel like this way it does add more flavor to the food because you know all the seasonings are already combined in the water and you're just adding the fish and allowing it to cook i'm gonna cover this and allow it to cook down a little bit oh i skipped a step before we cover the pot we're gonna add the cock soup so don't add everything one time because you do want to taste the water to see if it's too salty or if you need to add a little bit more so you're gonna mix this in and you just taste it you know like don't be afraid to taste your food during the process i'm also gonna add my coconut milk and just allow everything to come to a boil basically so i'm gonna allow this to boil on for about five minutes if it needs to cook any longer then i definitely will allow it to do that but i'm gonna check on it after five minutes i'm just gonna cover my pot I did turn up the stove a little bit high, not too high, it's on 7, so that's like medium setting, and then I'm going to come back and check on it. So in the meantime, I'm going to, you know, start my festival so i'm gonna throw some oil in the pot and you want to put enough oil i hate oil but unfortunately this is kind of necessary so you're gonna allow the oil to be completely hot like you need the oil hot if the oil isn't hot enough it's gonna stick to the pot and this is a problem that i always have so i'm gonna make sure that the oil is extremely hot today so I'm going to test my pumpkin to see if it's soft enough, and it is, so now I'm going to add my fish. By the way, this tastes so good, and if you've never added coconut milk to your steamed fish, game changer, okay? So now we have our little part fish them, so we're just going to place them in the steamed fish water. So you're going to put one in, and then you're going to add the next one so before covering the pot and just allowing everything to cook down I do like to just you know throw the water over the fish so that everything can be combined submerged you know and put some of these on top and this does not take long to cook, especially parrot fish, let them very soft. So I don't have it cooking too long, less than 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna start adding my festival. So we're gonna take a look at the fish and this is what it's looking like so now I'm just gonna add in my water crackers and allow that to steam a little bit and then I'm gonna turn it off and my fish will be done So now we're going to flip our festivals. So 
So these are my festivals and I think they're done. Period. But you know, you don't want fried them and them too tough. But I actually think they're done. Yeah, it feels very light and airy inside. How long festival take for cook though? But I want to take them out and they're not done, you know, but them brown, so I would assume that they're done. I'm going to give them one more minute and then take it out. Okay guys, time for the steam fish unboxing. So this is what we're looking like. Like, look at this goodness. I just need y'all to get down into it. Can y'all see this? The crackers soften everything. The fish is cooked to perfection. Pot is well seasoned. I'm still frying my plantains, but they're almost done. But yeah, back to the fish. Like, look at this. These are the festivals and people, my taste on, I want to tell my angle festival, my angle festival. The only thing I would say is that I wanted them a little bit softer. They're not tough, you know, but I wanted that, you know, that soft festival where you get from Hellshaw? Like, this is giving me Island Grill Festival, which is okay. Like, Island Grill is fine, but the Hellshaw, that's what I was going for. But next time, I'm going to get it. Now, I'm going to plate my food, and I think I want this fish that's over here i don't want it to break oh well, i'm taking it up perfect and you know when you're eating your steamed fish you have to put three little crackers in there right put some okra in there and some pumpkin And this is my plate like look at my dinner people tell me this don't look good we're done cooking and you know the usual we're gonna do a taste test on camera so let me just taste the fish well seasoned love to see it the crackers is always my favorite part like it's so good 10 out of 10 and I like to dip my festival in the gravy. But yeah, I've been in the kitchen all day and I'm super exhausted. But the food came out great. So thank you guys again for watching. Again, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more cooking videos, vlogs. You know, like I do a lot of stuff over on this channel. But yeah, thank you guys again. And I will see you guys in my next video.